Hey y'all, welcome to another week of Daily Devos with Nancy Jo. We are going to continue in Psalm 91, um, looking at that deliverance that we started talking about on Friday. Um, I want to read the verse, and I'm going to read it from an, at least one more translation. And then we're going to talk first about a lot of definitions. Um, I hope it's not like drinking from a fire hydrant, but... Um, I just want to give you some information, and that's what we're going to look at first. So, um, Psalm 91, verse 3, it says, For then he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. That is the Amplified Classic Version. The King James Version says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. All right. Then, the Passion Translation, which is just a great, great translation. It says, He will rescue you from every hidden trap of the enemy, and he will protect you from the false accusation and any deadly curse. Um, I, just to note, because this one says he will rescue you from every hidden trap, and then the King James, of course, says, surely he will deliver you. Um, and the Amplified is, he will deliver you. And I know we talked about this in depth, but I can't, don't ever want to miss an opportunity. I don't think we can talk about this too much. The fact that he will deliver us, the assurance of his delivery. Um, and one of the resources that I was looking at, it was Ellicott's, um, Dictionary Bible, which is one that I showed in our live video on Saturday, but it for the for the beginning of Psalm 91 It said it should not be overlooked that there are four names of God Noted in these first two verses and it said um, It was something to the effect that the sum of which is assurance that it it doubly assures this will happen, that he will deliver us. When this writer um, gives all four of those names of God, which we were in in depth, that it, it should not be taken lightly and that when all of those things put together, it should serve as absolute assurance to you and to me that God will deliver us. Isn't that just that's some good news for you Monday morning? Um, so, Every hidden trap. Now, let's go for some definitions. And this is, we'll probably shore out today with definitions and then dig a little and put together tomorrow. So, from the deadly pestilence is what one translation said. Uh, another translation said destroying pestilence. Um, King James said noisome pestilence. Um, interestingly, the Passion Translation said he would protect us from false accusation and deadly curse okay so those are all translations english translations that were given for this phrase noise and pestilence deadly pestilence from this thing which the writer's trying to describe from which he will deliver you and me now the hebrew word that is translated as the descriptive word the deadly destroying noisome um, is hava is how it's pronounced and i'm just going to give you again giving you definitions here and we're going to start picking apart tomorrow um desire in a bad sense desire so it's a bad desire pestilence um, another definition is chasm which is figurative of destruction, an engulfing ruin, destruction, and calamity. Another lexicon uh, defined that adjective as ruin, fall, calamity, destruction, mischief, and wickedness. Now those are um, Hebrew translations of the word that is used to describe the pestilence. Ruin, fall, calamity, destructive, uh, wickedness. Let's see. To define noisome, that was a that was a different word. I mean, and honestly, I suppose that in my ignorance, which you know, not knowing is not knowing, but digging in for this, noisome 
we would think that was loud, noisy, right? But that's not what it means at all. Um, noisome means harmful, but it also means that it is offensive to the senses, especially to the sense of smell. Something noisome is disgusted, offensive, or harmful. So I'm going to leave you with those nuggets and definitions today, and we'll pick up here again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.